What is going on, Wolfpack Nation? Welcome to an exciting episode of Tuffy Talk here. As we are excited to welcome the new president of the NC State Alumni Association, Rashonda Mahone. So, Rashonda, thank you so much for joining us today. Really do appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to, to be a part and to have our conversation today. Absolutely, a hundred percent. And you know, I, I know that for for myself, because you know, recently we've had on, you know, Ben Broussard with the Wolfpack Club. We've had on, you know, Pack of Wolves. We've had on uh, Tom Lavolsi with Savage Wolves. So I feel like that this is kind of the, you know, the last piece of the puzzle. You know, the last uh, association group from NC State side that we need to learn more about. And I know for myself and a lot of fans I've t- you know I've spoken with that this has definitely been a big piece because I know everybody knows about the alumni association yeah. in terms of. Like they know that it exists, but maybe mm-hmm. not doesn't know a whole lot in terms of what is involved, how they can get involved, things like that. So really do really looking forward to getting to that today. But before we kind of get to that, so so I did say that that you're uh, the new president of the alumni association. So if you wouldn't mind, just kind of give our followers a little bit of background in terms of where you came from, you know, where you're from, things like that. Yes. Well, thank you. Um, I am new to this role and the official title is Associate Vice Chancellor for Alumni Engagement and Annual Giving and the Executive Director of the NC State Alumni Association. So I've been a part of the Wolfpack since August of last year. So not quite eight months, but I've seen a football and a basketball season. So I, 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 I feel like I'm almost coming full circle Um, Professionally, I uh, have been in this space of higher education advancement for my entire career. Um, I actually fell into this as a student for my alma mater and really learned about ways that students, alumni, faculty, staff, everyone can really support an institution uh, through the advancement work. Um, I'm originally from Florida, Miami, Florida, born and raised. So there's a, a little bit of a tear for, for the team uh, representing in the tournament not too long ago. Uh, mm-hmm. And so as well as a lot of tears for our team, but originally from yeah. Florida. Um, and I've had experience in several different institutions, large, small, uh, public schools, private institutions, uh, HBCUs. And so what brought me to NC State not only the fact that I really am excited about joining and being a part of the Wolfpack, but really this opportunity uh, to, to, to think and do the extraordinary and yeah. to be a part of a community that really supports each other, supports the work of the university, supports the community. And so that's really been my experience uh, since joining uh, NC State. Okay. And what, if, what what would you say has been your uh, biggest lesson so far or, or things that have really stood out to you during your first, you know, just like you said, eight months or so here with the, here at NC State? Gosh, I've learned so, so many different lessons. Um, it's yeah. hard to really pick, you know, one, but I will say the part that I did not expect was really the campus community, the leadership from Chancellor Woodson, to the uh, senior cabinet members, Vice Chancellor Brian Sisko, um, our athletic director, Bruce Corrigan, and you mentioned a couple people from across campus and across the university. This is really a, a unique environment that is unlike any other experience at any other institution that I've had, and that you know, the strength of the pack really is the wolf. And so, you know, really buying in and supporting all of the things that NC State represents, what our student athletes represent, what our faculty do in the the classroom. This is unlike anything. I would have not, I would not have expected, um, you know, my welcoming and my experience so far on the team to be as great as it has been. Great. Yeah, no, absolutely. I know that we had on, uh, again, Tom Lavolsi, who was with the Savage Wolves. And uh, one of the things that he said that, you know, somebody asked him, what do you think NC State's biggest strength is? And his answer was the fan base about how yeah. how t- how strong knit everybody is together and how, mm-hmm. you know, just how, again, it, it really is kind of an all, you know, think and do all, all together, you know, strength of the yeah. pack mentality, a hundred percent. So could not agree with you more there. Um, yeah. And then just to kind of start to dive in a little bit about the alumni association. So, so it, it, if I were to say to you, you know, an alumni association, what, what would you define alumni association to be like, you know, what, what, what's your kind of overall view of what an alumni association should be? So the alumni association is really the connection for all NC State alumni and friends 
uh, to the university. It really is that lifelong connection, uh, keeping you updated on not only what's happening in the institution and around the institution and with the students, but also as a sounding board for the university here, what's going on beyond with our alums, with our parents. And so this is the organization that really bolsters that relationship. We nurture that relationship. Um, and, and we're doing all that we can to support all of the uh, alums and friends of the institution in the ways that are meaningful to them. So that is really mm -hmm. our, our top charge and our mission to make sure uh, that we're doing the best of building that connection um, in any way possible. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and obviously too, uh, you know, I know that when you and I had spoken the first time around that we were kind of joking about, about how uh, myself, probably all other in-state alumni are very used to, you know, getting phone calls from NC State, mm -hmm. you know, just to check in, you know, kind of get some background, make sure that they have the right home address and phone number and what you're doing still and things like that. Yeah. Um, but, but in terms of, uh, obviously there is a donation standpoint to it. And so how does the donation standpoint work from your end? Cause I know it's a little bit confusing to me in that like, I'll get calls cause I'm a chemical engineering grad. I'll mm -hmm. get calls from the engineering departments and asking for donations, but then you still got the wolf pack club, pack of wolves, et cetera, like that. So, so what is kind of the niche area, the donation wise from the alumni association perspective? So I'm so glad you asked that question because mm -hmm. at the NC State Alumni Association, we're actually in, a, in the middle of a transition. And Great. the good news is that we're expanding the ways that we want to support NC State alumni and friends across the globe, honestly, across Great. the globe. And so what we're transitioning from is assessing membership dues. So beginning July 1 of 2023, we will no longer charge uh, the membership dues to be a member of the Alumni Association and really get to the core of that relationship that I spoke about earlier. By nature of being a student and experiencing NC State from that side or being a faculty member and associated, associated NC State from that, we want everyone to see themselves in this lifelong relationship with the university and so part of that was the decision to move away from any financial commitments that would restrict or uh, be an obstacle to continuing that relationship. So very soon we'll be making that transition. And honestly, one of the benefits of this is, is, is to your question, uh, making sure that alums and friends of NC State know that when you give to your college, and you mentioned College of Engineering, this is what the funds do and the impact that it has. When you give to the Wolfpack Club, this is what those funds do and how they support our student athletes and the coaching and, and just everything under the athletics umbrella. You know, when you give to certain aspects, that there is a clear understanding of how the funds are being used, why the funds are needed, and the results from your contribution. And so from an alumni association standpoint, we want to be supporters of that work. We want alums to feel that, yes, your, your financial gifts to the institution are important and they matter, but just as much as your time and how you give your time back to the institution, that matters. How you give your talents and how you share with students or other alums professional uh, tips and best practices or just connecting alums, you know, professionally, that matters. And so, you know, we see philanthropy um, in, in the broadest sense of the word, you know, people relate to time, talent, treasure, testimony, trust. And so from the Alumni Association perspective, we want to do all of that. And so the ways that we can promote each of those areas with NC State alums, that's really where we want to focus. And that way there isn't the gray area of, you know, I just got a call from a student to support this. And then the same day you get a letter in the mail who's asking you for <laughs> this. Being a little bit more coordinated in that effort is really our goal. Okay. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Jessup Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessup protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Okay. 
So, so, you know, if, if I were, you know, like, let's say to put you in front of you know, an in-state alum or for those listening right now who are definitely obviously getting, you know, hearing about Pack of Wolves, hearing about Wolfpack Club, things like that, um, you know, what would, what would you say your expectation would be in terms of that, you know, if, if I were to give like, let's say a hundred bucks, whatever to alumni association, what would that, that money go towards, uh, you know, cause I mean, I, it, like, it, like, I love the kind of the, uh, the pitch that you're saying about how it really is, it, it's, it's With not push. Yeah, exactly. It's about the connection. It's not necessarily yeah. about the, the duty to give back a percent or something like that. It's about, listen, if you want to help with this, this is what this money will go towards. Um, you know, and, and I, and I love that. So, so, I mean, what, what, what would you kind of say to those fans of saying, if I give you this money, what is it going to go to? Yeah. So of course there's so many areas across the university that alums and friends can support, but to the alumni association, you know, we do have several funds that are under our purview. Uh, one of those funds is the alumni impact fund. And so your, you know, gifts to the alumni impact fund really invest back in the alumni association, whether it's through the student programming that our alumni association student ambassadors, uh, they are the, the student arm of supporting all things across campus to connect students with alums. It can support faculty awards. We do honor and recognize faculty that are doing not only great work in the classroom, but also in their research, in their field. And so we do support faculty awards. Uh, even in the, the networks and the connections that we have, we have several okay. um, affinity groups that we hope will grow over the next few years. We have regional networks all across the country that are eager to do things to support alums in their, in their local area. And so the funds support those, those opportunities and those engagement experiences as well. So that's just okay. one fund. Um, under our umbrella, we also have the Caldwell Fellows Program, which is a scholarship program for students that really teaches them about servant leadership. And so if you support the Caldwell Fe uh, Fellows Program, that supports a student's ability to graduate and matriculate through NC State through that program. We also have a number of scholarships um, across our affinity networks that alums do support. Uh, most recently, we celebrated with the Latin Alumni Network. They just endowed their scholarship. And so that's another opportunity. So, you know, from my perspective, I rather, you know, if an alum asks, you know, where would my funds make the most impact everywhere would be my answer. But then my next question is what matters and where would you like to see your gift make a difference? And let's make that happen. Um, and okay. so that to me is where it's not about what we need because there's needs everywhere across the institution, 100%. but it's more of what would be the most appealing for alums to invest their time, talent, treasure, all of those things for the university and for the alumni association. hundred percent. And it, it does, it kind of go to the level of saying, uh, you know, for these funds, how we have like, let's say a goal of, of mm -hmm. this much money invested and here's where we're at. It, do, would, uh, do us as alumni have kind of even that, that visibility into, into that extent even? You know, that's a great question. And I'm not sure we've done a good job of saying this is what we've done. We celebrated sure. Day of Giving not too long ago, uh, which was a really remarkable experience to watch the entire campus uh, community come together and celebrate philanthropy at NC State. And so we certainly had goals and challenges and matching grants uh, that gave that perspective of we're this many dollars away. We also do crowdfunding opportunities for student projects and faculty projects across campus that have goals. Uh, overall, we, we certainly will do a, a good, a better job of, of, of being transparent in that way, you know, to share, hey, for, for this year, our goal is this amount for this, you know, fundraising initiative, and here's what the funds do. And, and stay in regular contact with not only donors, but those who raise their hand and say, I'm interested in this. Please tell me more and keep me posted. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's one of those things, they, they, they say the rule of thumb in fundraising is, you know, the first thing, you know, the only way you can fundraise is ask. And so we, we have to do a better job of asking, but also making the connection to why, but making it a good experience so that you tell others. Because mm -hmm. honestly, I think the best way that we communicate the need, not only of the Alumni Association or at the various colleges, 
is really by firsthand experience from alums telling their classmates, their friends that, you know, I support this. This is why. And here's why you should, too, you know, kind of an each one reach one kind of method. Yeah. And my last kind of question for this, for this first part here, and we can kind of pick up uh, kind of long-term goals for the alumni association second part, but is there, uh, cause I know when I talked to Ben Prusar Wolfpack club, you know, how he was saying like, listen, however much you can give me, I'll be more than happy to accept it and, and, and have you a part of the Wolfpack club. Like it, it, you know, like it, it, there really is not a minimum. There is kind of a minimum, yeah. but then day, I mean, if you can give me 20 bucks, I'm going to take it all day. Like, you know, I'd be very appreciative for it. So, I mean, for your end, I mean, do you kind of, is is it kind of the same response as well? You know, is there a minimum to join the alumni association? You know, it's the same idea. And so soon there won't be a minimum. It's going to be an automatic exactly. opt-in opportunity very soon for the alumni association. But I would say for us, as well as across the board, it, the power of numbers is really what matters. And so whether it's five, 10, 15, $20 or $20,000, $20 million, um, that the idea is the power of numbers and that yes, every gift really does make a difference. Every gift matters. Um, there is impact in that gift. And the other part of that too, and I, I'm sure Ben would, would, would echo this is you never know what that gift would open up a future door for future giving. Um, And so sometimes I do hear, especially with our recent grads, the idea that I don't have a lot to give, so I'm not going to give. And if everyone had that idea or that thought, we wouldn't be anywhere. We wouldn't be as great of an institution as we are now. And so it's kind of start where you are, what matters, and know that even in that act, that the act alone, you never know the ripples that it would generate from that gift, whether it is that five, ten dollars or the 50, 20, 30 million dollars. They all really do make a difference. And it's the power of the community coming together. That's why I, I, I am definitely a fan of our day of giving, because, you know, there are over 16,000 gifts were given in a day. That's a That's lot great. of people supporting. And I think that number alone you know, will help us do monumental things in the year ahead. So it, yeah. it really does, you know, every gift does matter. I would echo Ben 100%. I love it. Yeah. And I definitely want to talk about a little bit more about the day of giving, which was a huge, huge day, record breaking for sure. Um, and then also to kind of launch our vision, like I had even said about the alumni association as well. Mm-hmm. But we're going to uh, pause right there. And uh, for just if, if you wouldn't mind, Rashundo, what is the best way for, for our followers and our listeners here to check out the alumni association, get involved, get more information about it? Yeah, so you can visit our website, alumni.ncsu.edu. You can follow us. We're on all social media channels, NC State Alumni on Twitter. Um, There is a LinkedIn page and a group. So just Google search us. Um, We're here. We're at the Park Alumni Center in Centennial Campus. Love to have alums stop by. It's so great to meet them and hear about their NC State experiences. Um, So number of ways we we are searchable um, across campus and across all the platforms. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And we will pick this up back here in part two. So make sure to join us right back here to make sure you don't miss out whenever we release that episode, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So you're notified all your devices when any NC state content goes live, but specifically part two of this episode. If you enjoyed this conversation, hit that like button and give us a follow. Tuffy talk now on Twitter, Instagram, but thank you so much. And we'll see you for part two. Go pack y'all. Okay.